What? Gen Z's trying to what? Cancel Eminem. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. Listen, little kitties, let me make this quite clear. This man was around even before you were here. So what, you're all mad because the man was a lyricist while all your rappers are a mumbling gibberish? No, go ahead and shut your mouth. Better yet, go and sit your ass in time out because boy was running laps even before you could walk. Hell, boy was spitting bars even before you could talk. So no, afraid you're null in, boy, dear. I'm afraid your opinion don't matter here because one day you'll grow up and see how everyone went and forgot about Z. Early in the morning. Early in the morning. What's going on people? It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice, and I'm back on your screens with another video today. And as you can see from the title, Eminem is apparently getting cancelled. Gen Z, Gen Z, Millennials, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're trying to cancel Eminem. You, I mean, pff, funny, funny. Good, good, good luck with that one. Yeah, good luck with that one. I don't know if you know who Eminem is, or I don't know if you're, if you're 18, 17, I don't know, like, am I now old? At 20, I'm turning 26 soon, I'm 25 at the moment. Am I now old if I used to listen to Eminem? Like, and do the millennials know who Eminem is? Is he even relevant no more? I, I don't even know, but either way, yeah, let me, let me waste no more time. So let's get into this, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like the video for me, hit the subscribe button for me, hit the bell to be notified for me, and I'm, I would really appreciate it if you can just watch this video all the way through to the end. It means so much to me. Now, anyway, let's get into this. So, I had no idea about this until I went on Twitter about five minutes ago. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even think it was gonna be a video today, but I went on Twitter five minutes ago and I saw that Eminem had been trending. And I thought to myself, why would Eminem be trending in the UK, lad? So basically, he went viral on TikTok and that's now made him go viral on Twitter. Because basically, TikTok just seems to be so powerful. TikTok seems to be driving a lot of the trends recently and I don't even have, I didn't even download the app, I ain't gonna lie to you. But anyway, so some user on TikTok got a hold of some Eminem bar, basically. And you know how millennials are like, you know the world we live in right now and it's extra sensitive, very, very sensitive. Now don't get me wrong, I'm very respectful to all, you know, women and all races and this, this and this. I'm all about respect and, and whatever, but each to their own. I've got no beef with no one, you know what I'm saying? But I do recognize that we live in a very soft and sensitive world at the moment. And, and what, what drives that is the, young, the younger the generations are, they're gonna drive more of that, not softness, shall we say, but they're gonna drive a lot of that sensitivity. So obviously, the, 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 the kids who are born now, they don't know about Eminem. They don't know about listening to Eminem in the 90s or, or, or in, the, in the noughties, shall we say as a kid, being born in the 90s, listening to them. They, they don't know what the lyrics were like then. They don't know what the times were like then. They don't know what was it more acceptable to say and what not was it what was not acceptable to say, you know what I'm saying? So basically, he's trending because one user caught a whiff of two lyrics. Yeah, I'm gonna read the lyrics out. The lyrics are, if she ever tries to fucking leave again, I'ma tie her to the bed and set this house on fire. That was it. Now, I, now I, say, I say that was it, but the reason why I say that was it, because one, I don't really think that's worth canceling someone over anyway, because that, that doesn't mean he's gonna go and do it. It's just, it's just lyrics for one, that's just pathetic. It's, it's, it's lyrics, like we all say, lyrics doesn't mean reality all the time. You just say things. You, it's like, oh, if you do that again, I'll punch you in the face. You can just put that in the lyrics, it doesn't mean you're gonna do it. So first things first, it's wet to be offended by that. It's just soft to be offended by that. But secondly, in my opinion, so if you are offended by that, you know, no offense, each to their own, but you're soft. But anyway, the second reason why that's not that deep at all is do you know who Eminem is? Do you know what this man has said? I've been in the car at what, six, seven, or well, probably eight years old maybe, around definitely under 10, and I'm listening to Eminem in, in, in the car, in the passy, my mom's car. Obviously, she, my mom's probably not even listening. I don't, I, I'm surprised my mom even let me listen to that actually, to be honest, but either way, I, I don't know what the lyrics mean at that age. I'm sure, to be honest, he's saying such graphic things. I'm sure my mom don't even know what the lyrics mean. But this Eminem guy, are you, are you crazy? You, you think you're gonna cancel Eminem? You think you're, as in, I'm, I'm talking to millennials now, what, you little kiddies now, 17, 18 year olds? You, you think you're gonna cancel Eminem? <laughs> now listen, I'm not even, a, I grew up on Eminem. Eminem will always be one of my greatest of all times. But I ain't listened to Eminem in, <sighs> since Revival really, Properly, when was Revival? 2012? Something like that? I mean, I listened, to his, I listened to his other albums afterwards, but Slim Shady, that's the best Eminem for me. 
I ain't gonna lie, Slim Shady, I, I, okay, I don't want him to go back to being on drugs. I don't want him to go back to the mazzoline he was on. But I ain't gonna lie to you. Reckless, high, drug addicted Eminem, Slim Shady, was my favorite. When he started going into rehab and things like that, and recovery, re recovery, that's what it was called, not revival, recovery. Yeah, it was recovery still. Was, there, was a, there, was a, there was an album called Revival though, innit? Now, more time is recovery still. Either way, I ain't an Eminem bang out no more. Yeah, he'll, he'll always be one of my goats, one of my greatest of all time. But I ain't even listened to Donny for eight years. So I don't, I'm not even a stan like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even a fan like that no more. Like the girl at the start of this video. Now, there's some real Eminem fans out there like that who will just ride for anyone or ride for Eminem, ride for their favorite artist no matter what. You better recognize who Eminem is. He ain't gonna give a shit what that a group of zero to 18 year olds are gonna cancel him. You feel what? This guy's, this guy's been cancelled or cancelled by that whole world before, like in his prime, in the noughties and the two, you know what I'm saying? He, the, the world was on him. This new Eminem ain't really, a, I'm not really a fan of this new Eminem, you know what I'm saying? I, I just think he's a little bit, I don't know, it's just not really the same for me. He ain't got the same impact for me. He used to, he changed my life as a kid and growing up um, and, and influenced me in a lot of ways, but I ain't no stand like this weirdo at the start of the video, like proper making up bars about this, that and the other. But... I'm just gonna end on this. If you think you're gonna cancel Eminem, you're barking up the wrong tree. You might as well argue with a mirror, bro, because this guy lives for this. If you hear this, do you not know what Eminem rapped about in his past? This guy talks about beating his wife and raping his own mother and all this. You know what I'm saying? As I'm not, that's not content that I really wanna hear, but like, that's what he was on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's the type of things he was actually saying. So if you think, oh, I'm burning down her house if she tries to leave again, what? Okay, if that offends you, fair enough. But these Generation Z, Generation Z, whatever, Gen Z, Millennials, you're too soft. You're too soft. Okay? Here's what it is. If I said, like, he, he was, what's that song he said? Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. You don't wanna fuck with me, little bitch. Is, uh, no, wait. Bitch, I'm gonna kill you. You don't wanna fuck with me, little slut. <laughs> so, and, bro, this Eminem guy's mad. He's like, oh, he's talking about raping his own mother. And, uh, 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 we, and we gave him the Rolling Stone cover. <laughs> Bro, if you if you want to cancel Eminem for that, good luck. But either way, that's all I've got to say on this one, to be honest. Let me know what you think below. Did you listen to Eminem before? Are you a fan of Eminem now? Do you think, would you cancel Eminem? I think cancel culture is old and boring, man. As I said, I did a video on cancel culture a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Um, cancel culture is pathetic, but um, yeah, good luck with that one. Peace.